Okay, welcome back to part three of this product demonstration for the DSD812-7, uh, which is the uh, 11 drug plus alcohol saliva drug test kit. Simple procedure for collecting your sample. The beauty of this test is that uh, the sample can be collected uh, directly in front of the donor. There's no embarrassment in terms of producing a urine sample. There's no possibility of the sample being contaminated, diluted or substitute you with somebody else's sample because the test is taken basically there and then. Guidance for testers is to ask the donor to place the uh, soft end of the swab into their mouth. This is quite rigid initially but will soften quite rapidly once they start feeding saliva onto the test. And then to ask the donor with their tongue to feed as much saliva that's generated around the mouth onto the swab test until the sponge feels completely uh, floppy and they can feel the central core with their tongue. There should be no taste or bitterness to the actual swab. This is an inert medical grade sponge. It's well adherent onto the central core and should not come off, but they do need to be relatively gentle in how they move it around inside the mouth. This isn't a swab that needs to be rubbed on the buccal membranes or under the tongue or around the cheeks. It just goes onto the tongue and you ask the donor to feed saliva onto it. They should not have had anything to eat or drink for at least 20 minutes, ideally half an hour before you run the test. They should also have not smoked for ideally 20 minutes before you uh, run the test. And they should obviously not have anything in their mouth when you're performing the sampling, uh, such as chewing gum or other sweets or any other material. So when they've completely saturated the swab, as this one has been, you'll see that it is now completely floppy. And you are now able to take that sample and by placing it into the base of the barrel and screwing the lid down, the sample will discharge into the base of the uh, barrel. You lay this ideally now on a flat surface upright as shown there. This allows the saliva to dissipate circumferentially around all 12 of the membranes. And what you will rapidly see if an adequate saliva has been uh, donated is these pink membranes starting to run as the saliva osmotically absorbs up the membranes. And you'll see here this one starting to run. They will run at different speeds, that's quite normal. Again, best thing to do is to leave that completely flat, start your timer once it's been uh, put together, and then we're looking to come back and read the results at 10 minutes. So what we'll do now in part four is edit through and show you uh, the results as they show on this particular test.